In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the main features of DocBee's ICC Profile Manager. This tool from the Device Link Specialist Scalalogic was created to be able to manage all your profiles, including Device Link profiles, be it on a Mac or PC, especially for the increasing amount of profiles and because of certain needs for multicolor Device Link profiles, this tool is a must-have. So let's have a look at the features. When we start the application, all the profiles that I have on my systems are shown. Be it monitor profiles, printer profiles, abstract profiles or device link profiles. If I want to have a look at all my monitor profiles, I select the device class monitor and all my monitor profiles are shown. I select a profile here, the general information of that profile are shown, but even more in the curves window I can see the calibration curves of my monitor profile. Here you can see that the curves have been adjusted to match a certain color temperature. If I want to look at all my output profiles, printer profiles, I select the device class output. And if I want to look for a profile for all my profiles called isocoded, I define the name search condition and all my profiles are shown now. If I select a profile and I'm in the Curves tab, you can see that the gray balance is shown of that profile. So this tool shows you when you select a profile directly the gray balance, be it an RGB, CMYK or multi-channel profile. But even more, you can have a look at the different rendering intents and the behavior of the gray balance when used with that rendering intent. The main task of DocBee's Profile Manager is the managing of device link profiles. So select the device link profile class and I want to look now about all my CMYK to CMYK profiles. And here again, if I'm selecting a profile and I'm in the curves window, I now can see all the curves that are of interest for me when I want to assess a CMYK to CMYK device link profile. I can see if my colors are contaminated, if the curves are smooth, and if I have some defects in the curves. In this case, I can see that from isocoded to isocoded V2, the profile has to be adjusted in the blue channel to match it. A certain class of profile is the multi-channel device link profiles. If I want to look for all my CMYK to multi-channel profiles, I select N color. All my color profiles are shown now, be it 5, 7 or 3 channel profiles. I now want to have a look at a certain Colibri profile, which I have just created. It was a 5 channel profile and now I select my Colibri profile that I have just created. Colibri can create multicolor profiles up to 16 channels. However, the channel name and color definition must be set manually after profile creation. We can use DocBee's Profile Manager for this task. If I select the profile, I can now go to the Colorance Out tab and I see all the output colorant table information here, meaning all the channel information that are stored in the profile. So you can see cyan, magenta, yellow and black named correctly, but the fifth color is just a placeholder and here I type in the right channel name information. In addition, the LAB colors of that Pantone reflects blue color can be typed in. Where do I get this color from? I use Photoshop for that. If I'm going here, for example, in my file that I've used to create the profile, I can click here and in the color ink characteristics and in the color library, I can see the color name and the LRB coordinates. This LRB coordinates can be now typed in into a DOCSB window and the profile now needs to be saved and I'm ready to go. Now I can use that profile in a color server application, for example, Zebra from ColorLogic. And when I separate um, colors with that profile, the color names are now named correctly. 